it's been a, a rip snorting day. We're going to see Chalinson, Moda, Adikov, and McKeever. And the Canadian superstar Brian McKeever looks for his fourth consecutive Winter Paralympic title in this event, the men's VI sprint. Sebastian Modin of Sweden already has a medal. He won the bronze medal in the long distance event. Couldn't quite get up to McKeever. Chalinson was a quick qualifier with, with his guy, Brees Ottonello. Jake Adikov as well, lightning quick in the earlier rounds. The qualifying in the semi-final, silver medalist in the uh, long-distance event behind this guy, Brian McKeever, wants his golden goodbye, guided by Russell Kennedy. And it is so far so good for the man who has 18th Winter Paralympic medals so far in his career. About 30 seconds away from a start, and it will be Chalonson and Modin who have a 21-second advantage as they leave the gate. Adikoff and McKeever will go together at 21 seconds. So four in the final. Chalonson and Modin. In the B1 classification, B3, Adikoff and McKeever. Chalonson in one, two, three. And Modin in one, two, four. Away they go. And 21 seconds, will it be enough to hold off the likes of Makiva and Adikov? Well, in Makiva's case, probably not. We'll see. It's only 1.4 Ks, and Moden has power. Shalonson had a classy semi-final, but Makiva, such a prodigious winner. Can Adikov keep pace with him, and how long until they haul in either Shalonson or Moden? Can they do it at all? It's quite a distance from here, but uh, they're fast at the back. Adikoff and Makiva, who pre-race looked like he didn't have a care in the world. It's just business as usual. Let me add it. Well, he just knows what it takes. Been competing for the last two decades at the Paralympic Winter Games. Uh, first gold medal arrived in Salt Lake City all of 20 years ago, and just. Uh, a crazy run of success at World Champs and at Paralympic Winter Games. He does specialise in the uh, cross country. He's been a, a world champion in uh, biathlon in years gone by, but it is the uh, cross country ski that brings the best out of there. A man born in uh, Calgary, lives in uh, Canmore these days. It's Chalonson leading Modin, and then that distance back to the chasers, Adikov and Makiva. Adikov leading Makiva up the first hill and uh, that's McKeever just biding his time for the challenge. They are starting to catch them. Adikoff and McKeever are racing two as they haul in Chalonson and Modin. Modin in second place, and they're very quickly gathering them in. Adikoff, McKeever at the back of the field. He never stays there for too long. They're just being careful about the passing manoeuvres. And uh, stepping to one side, Modin allowing them through. He can't hold them off. And he's making sure there's no collision. Chalonson yet to be caught. Well, looking at this race cold, he would think it would be Adikov Modin and, of course, McKeever holding off Chalonson. And here comes the move. McKeever moving through in this VI final the men's sprint event. And all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, Chalonson drops to the back of the field. McKeever has to make a burst at some point. Up ahead of him is Adikov. Adikov is uh, not worried about the reputation of McKeever. He really wants to try and stretch the famous Canadian. And McKeever, has he got something left for this run to the line? Will it be McKeever again? He nearly lost uh, his balance there. McKeever steps out beside Adikov and passes him. Oh, he's got plenty in reserve. The years and years of training and success come down to this again. The home straight, McKeever's going to do it once more. Is he tired? Well, he says he is, but he doesn't look like it. McKeever waltzing away with it. 
for yet another Paralympic Winter Games medal. It's number 15. Absolutely outstanding. Goodness me, like a walk in the park. McKeever, at 42 years young, has done it again. And he wins this sprint event for the fourth successive Winter Paralympic Games. Adikoff tried so hard to make it a different story, wasn't able to do so. And Moden comes in third. And Chalancon just out of the medals. Uh, but joy for the Swede to pick up that third place. Hello, seen this before. McKeever, <laughs> the winner. Russell Kennedy, his guide. What a patient race they skied. Just sit back and admire the race management. And picking that time again to make the move. And as you said, coming over the line with so much in the tank still. McKeever, just magnificent again. Well, said it's going to be his last games. Will it be? We'll have to wait and see. Does he fancy another a tilt at Milano Cortina in four years' time? I'll have to see. I don't think he fancies the training. He says he's not fussed about the medals. We know that as uh, Moden tries to gather himself and get up off the deck. Chalanson likewise in the background there. He can spend a lot of energy in a couple of minutes in this caper. Three minutes, 19 for McKeever's winning time. I really admire the effort of Adikoff. He, he just knew he had to go full tilt at it if he was to have any chance of the upset. McKeever too good. There was the move on Chalancon. He did well to hold them off as long as he did, but Adikoff and McKeever just swept past, and then it was a race in two until the last uh, 20 metres, and it was a race in one. Won by the wonderful McKeever. Adikoff. Oh, he just tried so hard. <laughs> you can see the race plan. I'm not going to die wondering. I'm going to take it to this man. McKeever's had all the answers for so long. And a little acknowledgement there to his guide in Russell Kennedy. Chalanson is up, receives the congratulations from McKeever. Well done. <laughs> 